puzzle rush. Um, I'll do more puzzle rush later, but let's see who's uh, in live chest. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing, Xenopor. Sorry, I think a bunch of people uh, subbed. Um, let's play Danya if he wants to play. Let's play some Blitz. All right, so let's play Danya. Play Knight of Six E6. Uh, thank you, or am I getting old notifications? Those might be old notifications, right? Let's play A6. Play C5, DC5, Bishop C5, Castles, Bishop B7. Uh, probably DC5, Bishop C5, Rook D1, Rook C8 to put pressure on the Queen on C2 here. Uh, music down or notch? Is the music okay, you guys, or is the music too loud? Music too loud or not? That's really the question, you guys. Bishop B2. I can play knight e4. I can also just play, like, queen. Um, let's go queen c7, queen b8. Maybe knight b6, knight c4 is an idea here. Music is fine or it's too loud or nobody's really sure what's going on with the music. Yeah, maybe down one notch. Okay. Um, is that better? Is that better? Maybe it's better now. It's fine. Okay. Okay, I can take and play bishop d5 here. Knight c4 is also playable, maybe. I have four, or fix one, or fix five, one. Um, let's do something a little creative here. Let's play bishop d5, hit the queen. I can play knight c4 here for starters. I want to do something creative. a5, maybe knight b6. Maybe it doesn't work. Um, I could also just go back. No, um... Eight, rook takes c8. Let's do something creative. I'm gonna play a5 here. I'll pre move knight c8 in case he takes. I don't think he will. He'll probably play knight b6. So my archive is now sub blocked. Um, let's play bishop b4. He's probably gonna play queen a4 here. Uh, as far as the archive goes, you guys, uh, I did put it behind. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. He's got this one. Ugh. Um,. Yeah, this is a slight issue here. Maybe I can still hold this with takes and queen d8, queen h6, bishop e4. Put the bishop on g6 and maybe I can survive here. This is not very good though. This is definitely not what I was playing for. Okay, but knight d4, now I'm still slightly worse, but I can at least hope for something. Maybe king h8, rook g8 is an idea. Queen f4, just bishop g6 is fine. Knight c4 is obviously a better move, I think. Now let's go bishop g6. If knight c6, I can play queen d2, h4. And rook g8, h5, bishop d3 is fine. Ah. Look for moves, look for moves, look for moves. Wasted so much time on that one move, though, that there's not much I can do here. Oh, I could have moved the bishop too. Yeah, that was um check. Yeah, I mean this just loses. What am I even doing? It just loses. 
I wasted way too much time on playing that one move. I just wasted way too much time. So play knight steer, bishop c4, d3. Bishop b3, I guess h3, and knight f3 is fine. Takes, uh, just bishop b3, f3 is fine. Takes, castles, b4, I guess. He's got ugly pawns here. Daniel just blundered by ending up with this pawn structure, which is really not pretty. Uh, but bishop b7 is fine. I'll play rook e1. 85, 85. Maybe just queen d2. b5, logical move. I can still play like, uh, rook takes and rook a d1. And knight d5 next move. Slightly ugly pawn structure for black here, but maybe not so bad. Um, what is this opening? This is an Italian. I'll play knight d5 here. Trade, just queen d5. Oh, ed5 is also maybe playable. Bishop b6, I can go queen b7. Or queen e5, looks fine. So he takes, I'll take. Uh, I think rook b5 is fine, because e5 is still hanging. How do I want to take, though? I'll play rook b2, knight d4, or something like that. Hit the bishop on e6. Uh, thank you, Chris Wainscott, for resubbing five months in a row. Five month champ. Coincidence? I think not. Thank you so much for the resub, Chris Wainscott. Can play rook c1, maybe? If rook d2, rook d5. Got rook c7, put pressure on the bishop. Okay, so he's trying to go into an end game, so obviously trade takes. I think rook c7, try to double the rooks on the seventh, win the pawn on f7 or a7. This is probably gonna be a classic four versus three end game. Um, play rook b8, okay, rook seven. Now e5, e6 is also playable here. Just, yeah, let's go e5, a5, e6, e, okay, he's not gonna fall for it, okay. Maybe, I can still play g4, maybe if g5, there's always e6. Oh, he's got rook d3, ugh. Maybe f3 here. Maybe check. But now rook h8, rook h6, and it's still a draw, but it's not as simple for for uh for black let's go h4 takes rook a8 f4 idea to play g5 or f5 wait now check king h5 and this sh should be winning maybe maybe it's not actually rook c1 Just keep tickling him. Oh, why did I do that? I just gave him King G8. Ugh. What move was did I push the pawn? Last captures on what which move? 59, so we have to get to 109, right? Yeah.
Oh, I slipped! Ha ha ha! I slipped with the rook. I meant to go rook d6. That's hilarious. Okay, that's pretty funny, actually. I slipped with the rook. I must say my mouse has been slightly off today. With the puzzle rush, even, the mouse has been off. Uh, with puzzle rush, I felt it, so I might need to actually change mice before Saturday, because um, this mouse has been a little bit off, I have noticed. So it's a slight, it might be a slight issue for the bullet. Um, at some point, if I don't get a better mouse fixed, fixed uh, if I don't get a better mouse, or if I don't check the settings before uh, before the bullet, I might have some issues. So that is something I need to uh, actually pay attention to. I guess I'll play knight before hit the bishop. Now he's losing the pawn on d4. Um, he's got queen c2. It's very slightly annoying, so I'll just take and queen f6. Um, I've got knight before knight d4 coming as well. Yeah, the mouse, the mouse actually, I am playing Farouge on Saturday, so I probably should go out and buy, buy a new mouse because this one's been acting a little bit weird for the last like day and a half, so um, I might want to go get a new one within the next day and a half or so before the bullet starts. Uh, I'm using a Razor Death Adder, that's what I'm using right now, so... Oh, is Dragoniski stream sniping? Is he actually watching? He's done it before, to be fair, so it wouldn't be shocking me if he is doing it, but I hope he's not. That's that's Bush League. Um, uh, but no, I don't see Dragoniski, so no, Daniel's not not sniping right now, which is which is good. Um, I can play Knight before, hit the Bishop. But yeah, I'm, I almost certainly need to get a better mouse before Saturday, because if I am playing with this mouse uh, on Saturday, then I'm gonna, um, I might have some very serious problems against Ferugia if I uh, use this mouse. So wait, I can take? Let's play like, let's think. Knight d3, bishop b3, knight d3. Knight d3. If he goes knight of five or knight h5, I can just take. Uh, e4 looks strong here to put pressure on the bishop. Rook e6, I can take and go c2. Oh, uh, did I just blunder bishop a5? Uh, king e6 takes knight e5. Sure, that's also good for me, but I don't want to give him any tactics, so I'll play queen d7. Maybe uh, rook f8. Play f5. I think queen c6 makes more sense. Cut off knight e4. I still have bishop b7. Once again, I've got a really nice position. Whether I actually convert this is a whole different story. Let's go bishop b7. Oh, but knight e5 is no good now either, so yeah, I'm starting to misplay this game as well. Um, I could trade. I don't want to. I'll go. Oh my gosh, I just give knight a five. What am I doing? <sighs> I guess I'll trade now. Play rook a a eight. Put pressure on these pawns. A six. I always have bishop b5, bishop d5 at the right moment. These pawns are backwards. I can play rook, uh, uh, now he gives me bishop b5 again. a4, bishop a6, and this, there's a deadly pin here, um, so it should be winning. Check and takes. Rook a b8, knight e4, uh, those takes, and rook b3. I've got two connected pass pawns here. Um... Well, let's just go c4, c3, d3. d3 is just winning here. So this should be game over. Um, just d3 next move is winning. Uh, King f7, he's got e6, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. I know this is obviously winning for me. Wait, but c2, rook e1? Well, maybe this is tricky. Okay, fine. I'll just go rook b6 and stop e6 here. 
hopefully it's the two. Maybe rookie six. G5 and rookie five, and this is winning. Check and game over, my friend. Rook D2. Just C2. D1. All right, there we go. Uh, much better game that time. Uh, let's play C4. Bishop G2. Bishop G5. Thank you, two. Takes castles. I'll go 91, knight c2, knight b4 maybe. Also b4 and queen b3 is an idea. e3 is an idea. I think rook b1 and b4 makes a lot of sense here. Go b4, rook b3. Put pressure maybe on the queen side with this open diagonal here. Knight d8, but now um, I could play e3 maybe. I could also play like f4. I'll just play e3 and b, f e and d4 next move. I've still got a very nice diagonal. Passive knight. White, black has some passive pieces here, so this should be pretty good for white. I'll just take and go queen f3, queen d5, queen g2. Again, bad knight. Weak pawn on b7. He can't go b6 because he hangs the rook. Um, c6, I could play d4. Queen f5 looks like a very solid way to just press the issue here, try to win the pawn. Um, maybe just come back over b1. Maybe d4 at some point as well. Looks like a very nice position for white here. Maybe it's nothing special, but uh, there aren't really any issues in the position. Go maybe king f2, king e2. Um, protect everything here, knight e4. Or knight f3, knight e4 looks good enough. Maybe c5 is playable, g4 to stop f5 also makes sense here. Uh, rook a7. Okay, so he wants to go knight e6, which also makes a lot of sense. Uh, maybe I, yeah, d4 is a bit blah. Um, c5 does not make much sense. I really need to do something. So I guess play rook a1, knight e6, a4. Go for a5, maybe knight e1, knight f3 is another idea here. The 8 I guess knight e1, knight f3. Don't really like my position in this game. If rook a4, I'll trade and take the pawn. If knight d8, just knight c3 protects the pawn. Uh, my position in this game is not good. To try and win this is a bit... I don't really feel like I should. I know Dan is expecting me to try and win. Um, but it's so... Okay, let's let's try this in D4, I guess. I mean, I can't... No, but even this is no good. What am I doing? Okay, let's just play Rook A2. Knight B3, I'll just make the draw. Because I'm starting to get myself into danger here. So the danger zone is starting to approach. So... Uh, Okay, bishop a8, bishop d8, okay. Here just rook b1, bishop a5, knight d1. Bishop moves, knight c3, I think I'm still okay. Barely okay here, but still okay. Okay, I'm not even going to try. Okay, so he does play e4, so Daniel correctly assesses this as being better for black, which it is. Um, so I'll play knight d4. Let's go king f3, hit the knight. Knight c3, protect the pawn, go for knight e4. Or, sorry, not that, maybe knight e4. Uh, yeah, rook b2 looks fine. Knight e4 is definitely coming at some point in the near future. Play knight e4. Of course, if knight e4, I think I've got rook b7. No, then, okay. Yes, I'll pre move ed4 then, just in case he takes. No, oh, he does takes, but now I can take with check. He blundered. Daniel just blundered that rook b7 was check. Okay. Ah, oh, he's got this brick. Oh, he's, that's a nice. Tr Wait, rook do I have puzzle rush here? No, he's got bishop d4. Take. This is puzzle rush, right? King f3. Rook c4, king f3. He's got to go rook g8. I go 97. Game over, I think. I think this is puzzle rush time. I think Daniel walked into a puzzle rush here. Because rook c4, king f3. I'm threatening rook g7. If rook g8, 97. He can't push the pawn. Check. 
Oh, this is not actually so easy. Let's play h4. And now I take and go rook g1, rook g7, f5, rook g5. Yeah, now I'm winning for sure. Yeah, now, and I'm up 30 seconds on the clock, so there's no way I can lose this. GG, my friend. A G, a G. All right. Okay, much better. 2-2. Two, two. Back to, back to, soli back to solid ground. Take. Play the end game. Okay, he wants to play this one again. Well, I think we've played this this one like 500 times already. Uh, takes, takes, d5. Uh, bishop, b6. Probably rook, d8. Play for d4. Go rook, d8. Oh, I just wondered. That I had 95 also. What am I doing? Ugh. h4 i guess i'll play h5 so bishop f6 i go bishop g6 always I, I can't allow h5 here which is very important um but this is such a gross position that i have this game like i guess i'll play bishop g6 bishop b3 queen f5 and 95 i guess is my idea maybe 97 but that's pretty bad too um i just misplayed this okay let's just take Play the position down a pawn and see see if I can salvage it. Probably I cannot salvage it, but you never know. Um, go c6, rook d8. Oh wait, I'm hanging the bishop. Oh my gosh, I'm hanging the bishop on g6. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. Not good, not good at all. Play queen f6, takes bishop f7. Uh, you guys, I am. Most of the VODs are muted, by the way, just for you guys who are wondering. Most of the, most of the VODs are muted, so, um, so what I am doing now is I am uploading the VODs without the music, so you are gonna, even though it's behind the paywall now, you, you guys are gonna get to watch the, uh, VODs without, um, uh, one second, without all the, uh, let's go rookie seven, without all, without all the muted sounds, so I will say that. That, that is the one difference. Um, so let's play rookie seven, rookie three. I can always, wait, is that a blunder? Can I take and go bishop c5, bishop f5? Queen c7, bishop f5? No, I mean, Daniel misplayed this. He just blundered. I mean, he still got rook f3. Wait, but rook, oh, this is maybe not, wait, what? Oh, does he have, oh, he can actually play bishop c2. For some reason, I didn't think he could do that. Um, yeah, this is kind of probably losing. Uh, rookie eight's a good move. And I have no perpetuals, maybe. Let's try, like, queen f4. Queen b1, queen b2. Oh, yes! Rookie six! And no draw, Dania. No draw. No draw. No draw, my friend. No draw. No, 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 no. Play c4, knight c3. Although some you guys uh, do remind me, for those of you who are going to watch my stream tomorrow when I play Arena Kings, please do remind me to buy a new mouse before uh, before Saturday. Uh, r remind me to buy a new mouse before Saturday because I'm I will actually do a serious try hard fail if uh, if I use this mouse against Faruja, I think so. Uh, do remind me before, um, before Saturday, those of you guys who are going to be watching the streams tomorrow, please do remind me to take care of that, because otherwise I think I might, I might have been bad shape against Faruja. So bishop f1, knight d2, g3, f3 are moves. Uh, I can play, I can play b3, I can also play just f3, I think I'll play b3. f5, I mean, I can take... Which way do I want it? I guess I'll just play rook d1. Fe4, knight e4. If knight g2, I just take and take on c5. King h9, I slam says, hey, Hikaru, I'd like to remind you to buy a new mouse. Thank you so much, king 89. Now, this looks dubious because I think now I can play like, um, well, let's see. If I take, he takes. I can also...
Guess I'll... I'm, I'm moving way too slowly again, though. Way too slowly. Let's just take... Knight h3, I have king h1. Takes. I have queen d2, maybe? No, but I've misplayed the... I mean, I don't know what I'm doing this game. I'm just playing, like, complete clown in this game. No, I mean, I just gave him e4 for no good reason. Yeah, I just blundered e4 because I'm not paying attention. Very, very careless. Um... Yeah, this, this game I just wasn't paying attention. Why did I take on a five? What, what am I even thinking here? Um, think. Okay, I guess I'll chuck the piece. I don't even, I probably should just design this game rather than waste time, but, um, but yeah, I, I will need to buy a new mouse because this mouse is not getting it done uh, at the moment. So let's play rookie three. Yeah, and I wasted so much time on this that just blunder with that EF5 was just kind of insane. Um, but he's starting to think, which I guess you could say is a good thing. Not that it matters because I'm down a piece and completely lost, but you never know. Maybe something good can come out of this. G5 is an interesting move. I guess I'll play D6 now. Takes maybe Knight B5. Okay, let's go Knight B5. Try to win the pawn on D6. I'm sure sure this is losing somehow, but Daniel's starting to think, I, I don't like G5 because now I get Rook G3. Um... Rook e1, d5, just rook g3. I think I just take. Rook g3, I guess. Stop mate threats. I'm obviously completely lost here, but Daniel's slowing down. So maybe I can maybe I can get something here. I don't know. Well, that's a big blunder by Danya. Or is it? Maybe it's not, but... Uh, yeah, it's not a blunder. Okay, that just loses. Yeah, I just blundered the piece that game very, very carelessly. Um, Queen f6. C5. Wait, if I... Four ninety four. Queen G six. Ninety four. Queen G six. Takes ninety five. Ninety two. Bishop D three. Ninety. Queen G two. No, I think the angel is blundered. I think this is. Maybe I'm missing something here, but let's let's see. I don't think I'm, I think Dan just blundered. I think he's just losing. This should just be winning for me here already. Knight c5, knight c2. Play d6, I could also just take and play like knight f6 and d6. Also b6 and bishop a6 is maybe a threat as well. So I'll play d6 since he wants to go like bishop d3 or bishop b5. Knight d3. I don't want a castle here. I guess I'll split just b7. Knight f4, maybe just queen h6 and takes. I probably am castling long here. White can't castle, which I also need to remember that white can't castle here. Um, so this castle. Play like rook e8 or rook g8 maybe. I should be better here. How much better is a is up for debate, but I should be better. Let's play rookie eight. Ninety four is a move. Maybe knight g four, queen g five. If I if I can get my queen away from this h six square, then it's all good. Okay, I guess put queen g five here. Maybe just queen g5. Yeah, I just want to swing my queen, play bishop c6, maybe play knight e4, maybe play bishop g4. But the queen's just very awkward on h6, so let's move the queen away. Queen g1. Now I think I will try to exchange pieces here. If bishop e2, just queen f5. h3, also a logical move. 
We just king b8, sidestep, rook g3, knight e4, rook g7, play rook g8, try to exchange the rooks here at least, free move rook g8, what about d3, what am I doing, what am I doing, well that's a free pawn, F3 was a bad move. That's a good start towards improving the position. Bishop g5, h6 maybe. Or bishop g2 first, h6 looks right. Oh, knight d3 was stronger probably. But still, okay, it's a good position. Go check. Just takes, takes. Queen d1, bishop f5. Queen f6, bishop g6. If I can ever solidify with my bishop on e6 or g6 here, then I'm just clearly better. And now I do solidify. I can go like rook e4. Oh, he's got h5. e5 takes, takes. Yeah, hg6, I just play rook g5, and then I have rook h8, and I win the game. Just rook h8 is checkmate the king is cut off. He resigns, next game. Play knight f3, b3, bishop b2, d4, e3, bishop b2. Now just winning, I guess. Yes, Mr. Buddha and M. Buddha, it is just winning now. A, uh, uh, I guess I'll play rook d1. When puzzle rush record breaking? I got 54 earlier. Um, I got 55 last night. So I'm not sure yet, but um, if he takes, I'll take 94 to queen c2. I guess queen c2 anyway. Oh, he's got, well, okay. He plays like this. If a4, I think I can take and go bishop b3 or bishop b5. Maybe a4 is an idea here. I guess I'll do this. Yeah, go a4. I'll play bishop b5, hit the knight. Maybe queen b2, idea to play rook c4. I've got this long pin on the diag here that looks really good. Let's go rook e1. Maybe e4, rook c4. I think e4 looks pretty good. He can't take some f3, forking the knight and the queen. Threatening e5. Um, queen g5 is a, is a good move. I guess we'll just play rook d1. Why not? The bishop is really good here on b5 because it, solidif it solidifies everything. The b3 pawn is never a weakness. I can hit the pawn on a5 as well. Queen h5. Uh, I'll play h3. Blundering knight e4. Or wait, is it a blunder? No, it's not. It's an inadvertent blunder by me. I go g4 and Dan is just losing a piece now. Completely inadvertent blunder. As usual, my inadvertent blunders turn out to be winning moves. Um, so that's just how it goes sometimes. Queen h3, I'll play rook e4. Uh, I could play gf. B... Yeah, let's just take. Maybe just rook d3, take next move, go rook g3. I mean, I guess he's got rook f7, so now I'll go rook g3. If rook f8, oh wait, no, I can't. What am I doing? I can't take. Let's play f3. I've misplayed this position as well, but I'm still probably better. I'm still up a piece, so I have to be better here. Looking g2. Five though, I mean this is getting dicey. Okay, rook e4, hit the queen. I can still play something like bishop d7 and put the bishop on h3. Throw in a check. Throw in a check. Throw in bishop h3 here. Oh, but I blundered rook d5 now. What am I doing? Guess queen c3, try to take the pawn, go queen d8. This is still probably winning for me, but I've made a huge mess out of this. Huge mess out of this position. Um, yeah, I've made a complete mess out of this. Um, queen c1, huge mess. Um, Oh, 
Okay, let's think. Queen of five, queen of four. G1 threatens nothing in reality. I guess I'll go for it then. Queen H4, check king. King F2. Queen C4, rook H2, bishop G2. It's just queen c2, maybe bishop g2 at some point. Maybe queen b2, try to, or queen d2. Queen e4 next move. Feels like I'm so loose here, but somehow I'm not losing. Probably bishop g2 to hit the rook. Like queen b3. But now I just escape and I go bishop f1 and now I'm just winning again. Rook d4, a5. Queen f2, a6 is a huge threat. Oh shoot, did I just blunder my queen? I'm playing so badly that I need to just make the draw here. Okay, draw fine, whatever, I don't care. That was a terrible game. Ter terrible game played by both of us. I don't, I don't even care about that draw. That was such a bad game played by both of us. Uh, so let's go next game. Or is Danny gonna stop? Is Danny really gonna stop? Seriously, are you for real? Oh, what is this? He's gonna stop when he gains like five points, like seriously? Okay, well, uh, that's a little bit silly. That's a little bit ridiculous. Um, considering the number of times we've played, for him to wanna stop after gaining like five points is uh, a little bit cheesy. Considering the way he always says that he wants to, uh, always wants to keep playing me and I run away from him, he's the one running away tonight, so, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, ridiculous. This is just ridiculous.